Sen Sen She has dangerously smooth skin So her knickers fell down That's so funny What's up guys It's Dwayne Back again for another video Back in for the reaction And today is a great Wonderful Beautiful Incredible day Because It's a German day Funniest German commercials Without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> DIY supplier. Ingenious. <laughs> By the way, guys, let me know if any of these adverts are not German, because I know in the last one, you guys were like, these are not German adverts. Let me know if these are German adverts. Let me know. Or if you've seen them. I mean, thank you for cleaning my car, that's what I'll be like. Anyone can rustle this up. From six euros monthly, the car insurance from DEVK. DEVK, personal, economical, close. So this is a car insurance. That was a British voice. Was that in a German commercial? Quite funny, but um, it was a British voice. So I'm like, hmm, hmm. Maybe it's a German commercial that was translated into English. You know, sometimes we use your commercials and then they come over, then we put an English voiceover over it. Maybe. Let me know in the comment section. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so you hate when that happens. Indispensable. <laughs> clever, clever. That's a clever advert. It's like he 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 needs to wipe his bum, but he's not going to use this magazine to do it because every page, each and every page is indispensable. Very clever advertising and funny. I like this one. Das Memorable. PlayStation magazine. PlayStation. Mate, I definitely had that magazine. If you're from my era, uh, when the PlayStation 2 came out, you had the magazines and they used to come with a game. Was it a game? Was some uh, this attached to the... I think it's this magazine. Yeah, yeah. Taking it back. Kitty. <laughs> he said, he said kitty. <laughs> Now that is funny. They just see, at first it was funny, but now it's really funny. He's gonna ask the cat. <laughs> he's around the wipe his ass with a cat than with his magazine. That's funny. Damn, <laughs> she's. She must have like some sort of pheromones. All these men are into her. What's going on? It came over me. Nudie lässt sie gut aussehen. Ah, okay. <laughs> It took me a second. That's where her face was. That is funny. That's funny. <laughs> Wait, isn't that a, isn't that French? Wasn't it? Was that that's French? Start that again. Nudie lässt sie gut aussehen. Is that French or am I? Is, it, is that me just? Thinking that's I, I swear that's I you know I don't know the German language but it looks like French to me I don't know anyways as we continue <laughs> I 
It's never too late to take Pro Slim. I'm guessing these are some type of um, diet tablets. They're saying he's so fat that the... <laughs> That's cruel. That he's so fat that the, the, the lift went backwards. <laughs> that's savage. Do you know what it is? This advert could never be played nowadays, but that's hella funny. That is funny. <laughs> Oh dear. Hello, Hans. What? <laughs> what do you mean a good haircut? Are you kidding? They're saying basically that is the reason why he's got no friends. That he's a loser. It's because his hair is shit. <laughs> That's savage. Oh my god, these are funny. Right, next one. Come on, Rover. Come on. Is she walking her hood? The <laughs> at Apollo Opticians. If you need glasses. <laughs> She's like, come on. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm going to get cancelled. <laughs> um, why is it in English? I'm just guessing these are German adverts that have been imported to, like, England and we've, like, used them as well. Ah, uh, so funny. But let me know if you've seen that happen before. Ich habe gefährlich glatte Haut. Lass uns sehen. She has dangerously smooth skin, so her knickers fell down. That's so funny. <laughs> Whoever makes these adverts are a little bit unhinged from reality. I don't know who thinks, like, you know what? I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Um, how about her skin be so smooth from our product that her knickers fall down in the middle of a church? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, who, who thought that in their head? Like, you know, that's a great idea for an advert. Oh my god! <laughs> no pun intended. Oh, oh, man. Man. Hello and good morning. I would like to introduce you to a minority group in our society which doesn't have it as easy as you or I. We call them okay. fascists, neo-Nazis, arsewipes. Of course, they are right-wing radicals. I know what you think. They are dumb, brutal and a neurotic danger to society. You're certainly right there. But let's take a closer look. In everyday life, a right-wing activist has to cope with obstacles which other people wouldn't even notice. When compared with us normal people, for him, the task of making contact socially can be extraordinarily difficult. The result, isolation and loneliness. Similarly, the right-wing activists' desperate bids for social recognition, perhaps through sporting achievement, only seldom meet with success. And it is a fact all too often overlooked that the majority of public buildings are simply not designed with the needs of a right-wing activist in mind. These pictures make it quite clear. Right-wing activists need our consideration and our help as well. For example, through social projects. Wait, sorry, I need to know what this advert is trying to sell. 
<laughs> What's it trying to sell? Designed to make them feel as full and equal members of society. Initiate initiative against right wing violence. So it's some sort of campaign. <laughs> Do you know what? I love that you guys have that type of sense of humour to take the piss out of Nazis. Nobody likes Nazis, so I'm here for it. No, I hate that. <laughs> I hate that. Oh my god. <laughs> that Wookie? <laughs> so this is IKEA, it has to be. IKEA as <laughs> <laughs> who thought of who thinks I just think like the advertising team and all, all these brands I feel like the requirements to be a part of these teams this is how I this is what I think I think the hiring manager is like for the advertising team, we need a certain clientele, a certain type of people. All the drug addicts, all the wild, crazy people, stand-up comedians, like people that are just a little bit unhinged with reality. That's who they employ to do these roles because they have some crazy imagination. I, I, <laughs> a Wookiee, why? Who's, who saw the chair and thought, you know what, let's make it make a, a Star Wars Wookiee. Is it Wookiee? They're Wookiees, right? Noises. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Haven't had enough of bad copies. This is literally an advert for a copying center. <laughs> So it's so wonderful. It's so wonderful. Oh, so wonderful. It's just a dream. <laughs> it's so Cars, you respect. So I don't want to wipe it on anything, I'm going to eat it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, my cheeks are hurting, guys. You lot are, you, you, you Germans, you're a bit, you're a bit tapped. You're a bit unhinged. And I love that because Brits are too. So I, I just love it. I just love it. I think we'd get along. Like, I need a German friend. Who, who's going to be my German friend? Because I think we'll have a lot of fun. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, I'll see you very soon.